Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be painting this pretty girl. It's a stamp by Unity Stamp Company. It's from their current kit of the month. It's called Hey Girl. And I, the colors that I've chosen are inspired by the current um, Be Inspired Challenge over at Unity. The challenge starts today. It's a month long challenge, so you have a whole month to join in. But the colors are really pretty and uh, bright and summery. And um, that's exactly what I was aiming for with this uh, particular card or particular painting today. So let me get painting then. So over the last couple of videos, I had been uh, asked by viewers uh, on the, about the brushes that I use, especially the one that I'm using today or uh, that I've been using over the last uh, few view videos. They, uh, the, that particular brush is a sable and it came um, in my sketchbox. It was part of the Rembrandt um, small 12-piece uh, sketchbox and it's a beautiful sable brush and i love it but it is a, a short brush it's a travel brush and um, so it doesn't have a very long um, handle to it but it comes to a very sharp point which is uh, very natural with sable brushes and I, I really love to use it because of the point and it holds a lot of water so yeah so that's the brush i'm using it's a number four round if you want to look for that so, but i usually recommend uh, um, th there are quite a few synthetic brushes out there which really perform equally well and uh, you really don't have to invest um, in a sable because sables are expensive but um, if you do then a number four or a number six round is a good place to start because uh, they come to such a fine point you can do fine detail work as well as do a larger area wash with just one brush and uh, that's what I like about this brush and uh, that's the reason I use it uh, often I do use another one that's a blue brush that's a Kolinsky sable and um, that has a longer handle so sometimes when the camera is right on top of my work I try to avoid putting my hand in between so as to not to disturb the view so that's when I use a little longer handled uh, brush but as long as your brush comes to a fine point that's a good brush to start with Here I'm adding another layer of blue, uh, just in fact just to wet the area a bit and uh, as I was doing it I used a different shade of blue and the reason I'm doing this is I'll be, you'll be seeing in a bit, I'm adding uh, rather I'm sprinkling some salt there, just regular table salt and I like to do that when I want to add a little bit of mottled effect or um, just a little bit of added interest uh, to especially when I do water areas and um, I will leave a link below for another card that I have done in the past and that's again for Unity where I have used salt uh, just to give that um, beautiful textural effect of water and um, it really gives a very nice effect in fact you should try it and I love love to use that and uh, all you need to do is wet the area first and um, spring the area has to be really damp and then you sprinkle some salt all it does is the salt absorbs the moisture and it leaves um, in fact it absorbs the moisture and the color so it leaves you a kind of mottled white um, uh, effect there and um, wait until it's completely dry before you dust this uh, salt off because if you try to do it when it's wet you are going to move the color 
the pigment starts to move so that's not what you want then you will not be able to get that um, really sharp uh, model effect so wait until it's dry completely and uh, then just dust the salt off and that's all and you'll really be um, very happy with the end result so i will leave a link below for another one where you can see that effect much more um, because this area was a little small i have tried to do a close-up a little later but i don't know if it was uh, very obvious but all you need to do is dampen the area, sprinkle the salt, wait for it to dry and then dust it off. So here I'm nearing the completion of this uh, particular painting and I'm just adding some finishing touches to the dress. I really hope you enjoyed this uh, painting. I, I had a lot of fun, especially with the salt. And um, the colors on the stills are actually much more real to life there as a, the real car is um, as saturated as you can see now in the stills but I have no idea why the um, the video colors didn't turn out to be that saturated but uh, this is how it looks in real life I really hope you enjoyed it if you like do press the subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment thank you so much for joining me today see you soon